What's up my Honda Metro 2013 to 2015 fans? This is my hundredth video on this. That's actually my third kit that I've created here. This kit is an 85cc Honda Metropolitan big bore kit. What comes in the kit is a tuner. This will, that's so you can tune your fuel injection system for the bigger engine. The 85cc piston with the cylinder all the gaskets and everything. So that's like the big bore kit. This comes from Italy, from uh, Melosi. So it's a really good kit. And then we've got our Takagawa camshaft. That comes from Japan. It's a high angle cam. Remember, more air in, more air out, more performance. That's what that's gonna do. And with a big bore kit, more power, you're not gonna get achieve any more of a higher top speed without these transmission gears. So we've got um, high-speed transmission cures, and then we've got also our variator, Kotako variator. So this is a this is a spin-off of. We had a 95 cc kit that came with the head, the cam, everything that got discontinued. Our 81 cc kit got discontinued. This is our new kit to support the 2013 to 2015 Honda Metropolitan. This is the air-cooled fuel injected model. It won't work on any other metros. So this is even better. It's an 85cc. All the, all the details for the install and everything is going to be in the link down in the description. So click that. And uh, the other thing is on the original, that, the last 85cc kit I was going over, you had to do a modification here. You don't have to do that anymore. So there's no modifications. This is literally a drop-in kit for the 2013 to 2015 Honda Metropolitans air-cooled fuel injected motor. It won't work for any other years. So I'm right in the middle of this Metro build and I figured it'd be a good time to show you what it looks like when it's apart and the parts in comparison to stock. Here's the hot rod torn down to its nitty gritty. Transmission is opened up. All the gears are pulled out. The uh, CVT is out. It's off there. Keep in mind you don't need a jack. It'll stay up on its center stand. The engine doesn't need to be pulled out at all. I've got the engine apart. Everything's looking good. Ready to do the uh, install. This is what it looks like halfway done. So here is all the parts pulled out, old and new. Keep in mind, Melosi has a really nice little uh, booklet, instruction booklet, to walk you through any issues that you might have and the, and the instructions on how to install this kit. This kit is, so that's Melosi's big bore kit, but we've added other things to that kit to make it our own. So there is a little bit of a difference. But we do have on the website a QMB139 big bore kit install video that is literally exactly the same procedure as this. The only real difference is the way that the cam works on this one. They can't see this little C-clamp. The cam is held in with that, so it just sli kind of slides in here, kind of slides in through there and then it's locked in by that clamp where the QMB139 is not. So it's very, very similar to the QMB139 engine. Here is the old variator. If you look here, you see how the, the ramp on it is, that wall there is, it's, it stops, the ramp stops. And in comparison to this one, it keeps going. So the ramp is a lot more aggressive. Not only that, if I flip this over, just like that, see the difference in height? It's not dramatic, but it, there is a difference. So that's going to allow the belt to travel up the up the variator a little bit more. So, and that's the Kotako variator. It's really good Japanese quality. Another thing I found I found out, which is kind of cool, the Ravino clutch will work on these 2013 to 2015. They have the same clutch as the uh, Ruckuses and Metros from back in the day. So that's cool. This, the head stays the same. This is this is the head. It's got the sensor in it. We'll just reuse that. Here is the big bore kit. Melosi big bore kit. Look at the difference here. So here's the, the stock piston. Really big difference. Look at the size difference. Huge difference. So there's that. And then there is our tuner. Again, there's a really good instruction booklet. It shows you how to do all of this. Super easy. This isn't a plug and play unit. There, it comes with these little splicer things. You can use that to install it, but it's easy. 
And then we've got our gear up kit. This is cool because the gear has even been lightened. See the holes drilled in it? But this is a taller gear, so we're going to achieve a higher top speed. So here's kind of the, the kit. Everything that we're putting in, I'm not going to actually put the Ravino in, but I did notice that you can if you want. I'm going to finish up this kit, and the next clip you'll see me riding this sucker around, and you can kind of see the power difference. You already know how slow your 2013 to 2015 is currently. Where do you see this? All right, so done. Let's start this thing. By the way, here is our Melosi tuner. There's a, a bunch of different preset maps that I uh, just went through to find out which one was best. I'm at the, uh, the number three on the uh, zero map. So I went over to three. That seemed to be the one that works the best for me. So let's go ahead and uh, test ride this thing. See what we got. Now I'm gonna take it a little bit easy because this is a brand new engine. All right, so just through the parking lot, let's just do a quick acceleration, see how fast we can get up to uh, near that trailer. Way better than stock, that's for sure. Probably three times the power. I will note that I added seven gram Dr. Pulley sliders off camera. You could always do like five gram or seven gram would be like the max. I wouldn't go any heavier than seven gram. You could do six gram or five gram. It actually had five grams in it before and it that's good for like a 50. Seven gram is what I recommend. So let's do our top speed run. Let's see where we're at here. So, floor it. Remember the top speed was 32 stock. And it takes a while to get there as a, as a stock 50. So, 32 right there. That was pretty quick for 85 cc. We're at 35 now. Almost to 40. 40, it'll pretty, we're on a flat here. So, it'll do 40 real nice on a flat maybe at 42 right now just hanging on a flat at 42 if you want a higher top, higher top speed you can do 8 gram but I probably wouldn't recommend it because you want to have the best of both worlds so now we're going down a hill and uh, probably at 45 now and 50 miles an hour at least I probably wouldn't want to go much faster than 50 miles an hour with these disc brakes, or drum brakes I mean. The other thing to know about this is, keep in mind we're still running the stock exhaust and the stock air filter, which is super, super restrictive. If we got a performance exhaust and a performance uh, air filter, we would open that thing up so much more. But this thing does pretty good, way better than stock, I would say uh, twice if not three times the power. So yeah, this thing does pretty decent. So if you're just cruising and then you uh, nail it, it, it picks up way better than the stock 50. You'll never get a get to have this type of acceleration. When I say get, I mean the older Metropolitan engines are called the get. They produce those from 2002 to 2012. This is a 2013 to 2015. So this is a completely different engine than the GET engine. So that's the big bore kit. Remember we have overdrive gears for the higher top speed. We've got the 85cc Melosi kit. And then we have a Takagawa performance camshaft with 7 gram sliders in the CVT Kotako variator. And uh, when we're done with this, you just set it and forget it. It's got a little bit of uh, Velcro there. I'm just going to cut a slit right here so that the wire doesn't get pinched and Velcro it right in place. And what this does is this increases the fuel since we have we have a larger displacement, 85cc, it needs more fuel. This thing's kind of neat too because it'll advance the timing. If you notice in here, 
you I didn't advance the timing at all but you can you can go plus three plus six or you can retard retard the timing negative six negative three there's three different settings for each uh, timing advance so that's pretty cool